the star bug Juju, not to be confounded with the person from the film, is without a doubt a monstrous heavenly body. In the event that we were to trade bug juice with the sun, it would reach out past the orbit of Mars and even reach the asteroid belt. What's considerably more concerning is that the James Webb Telescope has made a disturbing new disclosure about Betelgeuse. Neil deGrasse Tyson has a couple of words on the subject. In spite of its nearness of 700 light years to us, Bug Juju is the nearest star to our planetary system that researchers expect will eventually end its life in a supernova blast. Prestigious astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has been vocal about Betelgeuse, noting its astounding size. What's more, its staggering red-orange tint makes it one of the most recognizable stars in the night sky. He says that it's the nearest star to the sun that will, in all probability, end in a supernova blast. Like any star, Betelgeuse will eventually run out of fuel in its center. As it begins transforming, it will expand so greatly that it will overwhelm the orbits of Mercury and Venus and come exceptionally close to Earth. Imagine checking the sky during dawn and seeing part of the sky illuminated by Betelgeuse. Bug Juju is known for its fluctuation, with its brightness varying over time. At its peak, Betelgeuse can shine incredibly brightly, nearly matching the most brilliant stars overhead. With an extent close to zero, there have been theories circulating about bug juice encountering a supernova blast, suggesting a possible startling event for observers on Earth. However, this claim might not come to pass. It's crucial to understand that a star's brightness can change significantly. Comparing Betelgeuse with stars like Riel and Birch Noble further accentuates this point. Riel and Birch Noble, while occasionally appearing similarly brilliant, can vary significantly in their radiance. There is sharp interest in understanding the status of this exceptional star. Notwithstanding discussions about a potential blast, researchers maintain that they are monitoring Betelgeuse's behavior to grasp its fluctuations and to detect any significant changes that could indicate a looming supernova event. The hypothesis about Betelgeuse detonating has grabbed attention due to the star's size and its importance in the night sky. However, Stargazers and astrophysicists remind us that predicting such celestial events is not straightforward. While Betelgeuse's recent dimming has garnered attention, it's essential to remember that stars, including Betelgeuse, go through normal cycles of fluctuation. Researchers continue to observe and analyze Betelgeuse using various cosmic instruments, including the James Webb Space Telescope. This high-tech telescope has enhanced our ability to study distant stars and galaxies. Its observations of Betelgeuse provide valuable insights that help in understanding the star's behavior and potential changes, adding more pieces to the puzzle of this fascinating celestial body. The course of a star reaching the end of its life and culminating in a supernova blast is a complex galactic event. While Betelgeuse has stood out and raised questions about a potential supernova, established researchers approach such potential outcomes with caution. It's a chance to learn more about the life cycle of stars, their behaviors, and the ultimate fate of these giant celestial entities. The changing brightness of Betelgeuse results from numerous factors, including its size, temperature, and distance from Earth. This variation in luminosity is a consequence of the star's normal cycles and characteristics. Over a period of somewhat over five years, Betelgeuse has experienced significant fluctuations, presenting captivating challenges and generating scientific interest in understanding these variations. Apart from Bug Juju, this notable star is referred to by alternative names like Belus, BGE, and Battelle, highlighting the diversity in naming conventions across different cultures. It's intriguing how a single celestial body can have different names and spellings, each stemming from historical and linguistic contexts. The origins of the name Betelgeuse can be traced back to the Arabic language. Researchers frequently debate the most appropriate spelling and pronunciation for this name, with Bu considered more fitting in its scientific usage. Located in the Orion constellation, Betelgeuse shines as a red supergiant star, captivating observers from its location roughly 6,425 light years away from Earth. Its impressive distance adds to its status as one of the most thoroughly studied and captivating celestial objects visible in the night sky. The information we have about Betelgeuse's distance comes from various sources, including the Hipparcos Astrometric Satellite.
This state-of-the-art apparatus has provided essential insights into the vast distances separating celestial bodies, though varying information sources sometimes present discrepancies. While the Hipparchos satellite shows Betelgeuse to be around 430 light-years away, other estimates suggest a distance closer to 6,425 light-years. These differences underscore the complexity and challenges of accurately measuring celestial distances, highlighting the ongoing refinement and advancement in astronomical techniques. Understanding the vastness of our universe involves grappling with the immense distances between celestial objects. Betelgeuse, with its captivating variability and enormous size, offers a compelling case study for astronomers and astrophysicists. Its unique attributes and observable behavior contribute significantly to our understanding of stellar evolution and the broader universe. The fluctuations in Betelgeuse's brightness over the mentioned period have led to further inquiries and observations. The intriguing nature of this red supergiant presents an excellent opportunity to understand the life cycles of such massive stars and the complexities of their behavior. Astrophysicists and cosmologists have utilized various instruments and methods to monitor Betelgeuse, trying to unravel the underlying causes of its variability and any potential implications for its future evolution. This specific period of change has sparked increased interest in the star, leading to extensive research and discussions within the scientific community. While there have been theories about a potential supernova event, the recent dimming and subsequent brightening of Betelgeuse raise more questions than answers. It's important to exercise caution in making determinations, as natural fluctuations in a star's brightness are part of its intrinsic nature and may not necessarily indicate an imminent dramatic event like a supernova. The intricate dance of understanding celestial bodies involves considering various parameters, including size, temperature, distance, and their inherent characteristics. Betelgeuse remains a significant celestial object, offering valuable insights into the behavior and life cycle of massive stars. Continuous observations and technological advancements continue to shed light on the enigmatic nature of Betelgeuse, contributing to a broader understanding of the universe. Betelgeuse, also known as Alpha Orionis, stands out as one of the most striking and captivating stars in the Orion constellation. Its remarkable variability in apparent size, ranging from 0 to 6, marks it as a variable star. Although Riel holds the designation of Alpha Orionis, Betelgeuse's capriciousness sometimes causes it to appear brighter than it actually is. Historically, the designations Alpha Orionis and Beta Orionis were assigned to Betelgeuse and Riel respectively, in Johann Bayer's Uranometria published in 1603. This classification helped astronomers and stargazers distinguish and differentiate between stars in the Orion constellation. Unlike many other stars, Betelgeuse exists as a solitary star, not part of a larger stellar cluster. It resides in a region devoid of star-forming activity. Its classification as a runaway star further sets it apart, reflecting its trajectory and distance traveled through space. This colossal celestial object boasts a radius roughly 1,000 times larger than the Sun and a mass 20 times greater than our solar system star, with a remarkable luminosity equivalent to 126,000 suns. Betelgeuse's brightness remains significant even at a distance of 548 light-years from Earth. Despite its considerable distance, Betelgeuse presents a fascinating contrast to our Sun. The star's surface temperature, around 3,600 Kelvin, is strikingly cooler than the sun's 5,778 Kelvin. Despite its enormous size, this temperature discrepancy contributes to its distinct red supergiant appearance and serves as a significant variable affecting its brightness and observable characteristics. Regarding age, Betelgeuse, at approximately 10 million years old, is relatively young compared to our sun which boasts an age of about 4.6 billion years. Despite its youth in galactic terms, Betelgeuse has already undergone stellar evolution, reaching a stage where it exhibits the characteristics of an aging red supergiant. Given its immense size and its stage in the life cycle of a massive star, theories about Betelgeuse potentially ending its life in a supernova event have emerged. Such an event, if it were to occur within a few hundred light years from Earth, would undoubtedly have significant repercussions for our planet. The possibility of Betelgeuse going supernova has garnered attention due to the potential impact such an event could have on Earth. However, 
researchers emphasize the need for caution in predicting such cosmic phenomena. While Betelgeuse's characteristics and behavior make it an intriguing subject for study, the specifics of a potential supernova and its consequences for Earth remain uncertain. Understanding the life cycle and behaviors of stars like Betelgeuse helps astronomers grasp the universe's cycles, and observations of this red supergiant continue to enhance our knowledge of stellar evolution and the grand cosmic events shaping our universe. Despite all the hype about Betelgeuse going supernova, it hasn't happened yet. Instead, the star has been dimming and brightening in a pattern suggesting it is simply undergoing a phase. It is possible that Betelgeuse may eventually explode, but it doesn't seem like it will happen anytime soon. Betelgeuse's location in the Orion constellation, marking the right shoulder of the hunter, has made it a prominent and easily identifiable feature in the night sky. Its distinctive red hue further enhances its visibility and appeal. This star is conveniently located for observation in the night sky, especially during the early months of each year, making it a popular focus for astronomers and skywatch, heirs alike. To unravel the mystery of Betelgeuse's behavior, researchers have extensively analyzed data from various sources, including NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories. These observations have provided critical insights into the star's recent activities. The findings suggest that Betelgeuse underwent a massive surface mass ejection in 2009, resulting in the loss of a significant portion of its visible surface. This behavior is remarkable and unprecedented in the context of stellar observation. Never before has such a phenomenon been observed in a star of Betelgeuse's size and prominence.